Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Bloom's Tower Defense 5 Bloom Bloom's Tower Defense 5 Black Edition. <laughs> I don't know why I messed up on the uh, on the uh, intro there. Anyways, um today we are finally going back to these normal tracks and we are going to do the drag strip. Uh which is a very interesting level and it's quite difficult. Uh thankfully because of my specialty building, uh, the boomerang throwers are at a little bit of a discounted price, and they're discounted enough for me to use two of them at the very beginning. Uh, now, something that's kind of cool about this track is that I think these uh, these little like oil slicks, I think they're different each time. I don't remember. They they might be the same, but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're the same. But uh, they keep like getting made by the drag racers going through uh, each round, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, a nice little gimmick thing. Now you can place tracks or place towers in the middle or on the outside of the tracks. Um, and because there's two lanes, it does make it a little bit more difficult. Uh, similar to Death Valley, but a little bit easier than Death Valley because these tracks are the same, um, the same shape, same distance and everything. But they are pretty short tracks, um, so that's something you gotta work on, uh, watch out for. Also, these towers, or these, I keep calling them towers, these boomerang throwers, um, they won't be the exact same efficiency on both sides, because here he's throwing something to his left, I guess, well, here he's throwing it to his left too, but I think it's like at a little bit of a different angle, so it'll be a little bit harder. Um, now I don't really have that much of a specific plan for this episode, or for this area. <clears throat> uh, I know that I want to get a monkey village with the radar scanner, uh, for them to be able to detect camo, and then just give them the bionic boomer, but I don't know how mu how long I can let them, uh, how long they can go without needing any upgrades, because here you can see he leaked one. So I'm going to give them the Bionic Boomer first, and then the Radar Scanner, because uh, I'm pretty sure I'll have enough time to get that much, uh, that much money. And I do like that it has enough range to get both lanes a little bit. Uh, it has that little bit of overlap, which is helpful. Um, and then with the Monkey Village uh, range enhancer, it'll help them both cover both lanes. Uh, so that'll be really helpful. However, as we learn from money management, I'm going to need a better bloom or er, blimp buster. Although, really, there's only going to be three blimps here, and there's like seven on the other track. So maybe I won't need it as badly, but I will still need something. And I don't really use um or I don't really use monkey aces that often either. So I think I'll try to use that one. Uh, it's a nice little track for that. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I always want to experiment with new things, but then I always want to do the same as I always do, which is pretty much a contradiction all around. Um, <laughs> so let's see what I end up doing. Obviously I'm always going to use boomerang monkeys like from now on because they're just so awesome. Uh, then I'm always trying to think on my feet and use something new or something good. Whatever I use, it's... Hmm. I suppose I could just use some ninja monkeys. Because those are pretty effective at popping blimps, but you do need a lot of them. Hmm. I also probably should have gotten a banana farm sooner, or somewhat sooner. I'll probably put one down right now. And then use a little bit of more monkey money uh, to get a monkey farmer, which I'm glad they're only 40 monkey money, so that's really not that much, uh, not that much that I'm spending. And then I think I get 500 uh, for completing this track. I'm not sure. Uh, 
at least a hundred, definitely. Uh, so I'm definitely making more money than I'm spending, or monkey money. Uh, so that's always something you gotta watch out for. Um, what else? Um, hmm. Not really much else to talk about on this episode, except for the fact that I'm actually kind of about to start leaking some balloons, because they're moving faster. Uh, I don't think I can use the ice tower to slow them down. I don't think the arctic winds is uh, enough range to slow down the balloons, plus I don't think I'd have enough money to do it anyways. Um, I'm gonna need some camo detection right here. Uh, let's see. What else do I need? I should upgrade these a little bit. Uh, just to make them that little bit more awesome. And then I still need that radar scanner that I was talking about, or just a bunch of ninja monkeys. Either one works. Uh, I've got lead covered because of their uh, red hot rings, which are really now red hot glaives. Hmm. I like round 27 because it's just a bunch of streams of blooms, which is really nice for the glaive ricochet because then it just totally destroys them. But uh, this is good too. Alright, I've still got some time to figure out what I want to do for this episode. Because uh, the Moab isn't coming for a while. And I'm pretty sure these two Bionic Boomers can cover it. Which is very useful. And then I'll just get a little bit more money uh, with the valuable bananas. And I won't have to worry about that anymore. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with a super monkey. Maybe. I still don't know what I'm going to do. Which is strange, because it seems like I should already know what I'm going to do. <laughs> like, the whole point of this is to give you walkthroughs and be like, oh hey, you want to beat this level but you don't know how? Just do what I did. Except, oh dang it, uh, slow down. Um, I forgot I still need some camo detection. That's not going to be enough. Um, well, actually, that's pretty close. Uh, just a little bit more. I'm not going to have enough this round. Um, yeah, I am just going to get the radar scanner and not use ninja monkeys. So, just need a little bit more. Alright, now then the ray monkey beacon, that's what it's called, uh, to increase its range. And then the jungle drums when I get it. Now, something interesting, or something that I find interesting, is that back in like Tower Defense 3 or 4, I always thought that the jungle drums were a really expensive upgrade because they were 1200 and now it's a lot of money, but it's really not that much money. It's a pretty cheap upgrade. Um, cheap is in price, not quality. Uh, it's very effective. Well, I actually don't know exactly how effective it is, but oh well. Um, let's see, next I'm going to need something to pop some Moabs, which I could use snipers. Uh, yeah, I'll use a sniper. Especially because now that he's in the monkey village range, uh, he has a little bit of decreased price. So it'll make it a little bit easier on the wallet. Alright, and set him to strongest, just to be sure that he's targeting Moabs, even though, for the most case, he pretty much always will be targeting Moabs when you're playing on easy. Uh, I don't need to get him the night vision goggles, because that's just a waste of money. It's not that much money, but it's still a waste, because the radar scanner already gives him that uh, camo detection. And just waiting on the deadly precision to make him a little more effective. And then I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all I'll really need to buy. I mean, I could go for the tier 4 if I have enough money, but it's not really going to be necessary, I don't think. Um, hmm. I do really enjoy the monkey farmer, because then I don't need to have my mouse over by the banana farm and I don't need to worry about any of that, even though I'm not using a dartling gun, which is also pretty useful in this level. But, again, not always necessary. Um, See, now that I have enough money, I want to get a super monkey just because. 
but I think not. Um, let's see. As far as what I'm doing with the rest of these episodes, um, like the rest of the special missions, I'm probably not going to focus too much more on them for right now. I'll probably just go on to the advanced, because this is, I think, technically the last of the expert tracks, and the others are like the extreme or intense or something like that. Um, and those tracks are a little bit different, not only because I need more rank, but um, they cost monkey money to attempt, and you get more experience, I think, uh, if I remember that correctly. So, I'm probably not going to do those yet. And uh, let me know in the comments uh, if you want me to continue uh, just doing it all one cut for the advanced uh, track. Because I, I know that when I do it on advanced, there's going to be more waves, so it's going to take longer. And these videos are already like pretty long uh, for Let's Play standards. So if you would like me to cut out a few rounds, like the beginning few and I'm not placing any towers or something, uh, then let me know. Or if you want me to keep it just like a 30, 35 minute video, and then you can just skip ahead if you want to skip ahead. Either one's okay, just let me know. Um, I'll, prob I'll probably go back to do the money management uh, for tomorrow's episode, just so that I can finish off this week and then... By next week, I'll know how to do, how you would like me to do the advanced episodes. Um, and I will be doing it in reverse. Uh, so the balloons will be coming from the opposite side of the track. Which, in some cases, isn't really a big deal. But in other cases, it makes a huge difference. Um, and obviously, I'll be letting you know when those cases are. Alright, and did I? Oh yeah, I didn't get valuable bananas. I was wondering about that. Um... Alright, uh, so now I'll just get valuable bananas, just because it uh, won't make much of a difference. And... I'm gonna make a monkey ace. Again, just because. Alright, and then just give him never miss targeting, and he's just about as good as I'm gonna need him to be. Because I'm not gonna have enough money for the spectre. And I really don't like the sound of the grilled pineapples, which I always call them grilled pineapples, but they're not grilled pineapples. That's the deluxe upgrade. But anyways, um, just the never miss targeting, probably at the end of this round. Probably. Maybe. Almost. Got it. Alright. Um, I could probably sell the banana farm, because I don't really need it. Uh, something else I like about, or something I should mention about special agents is that, uh, you might have noticed, uh, where is it? Here it says, like, pro, 3 out of 50, or 0 out of 50, or whatever. Uh, that means that if you use, not necessarily if you buy, I think, maybe it's if you buy, but if you use, um, up to 50, uh, special agents, then it'll turn into a pro special agent, where it'll either have an upgraded ability, or it'll just be upgraded in general. And for the monkey farmer, uh, it gets upgraded so that every banana, or banana bunch, or banana crate that you pick up, it'll drop a banana peel on the track that will make the um, that will make the balloons go backwards on the track and head towards the beginning of the track. Uh, so that's it's pretty helpful, but it's not always like extremely amazingly helpful or anything. Uh, and let's see, now I can use the Spectre, actually. That's good. Um, so yeah, that was this track on ET. I got 600 monkey money. That's uh, actually more than I thought I'd get. So the little 40 that I spent on that guy is not much. And oh, I need, <laughs> oh, I need four more monkey money to get the bigger beacons. Wow. All right. Um, anyways, that's it for this episode. Uh, let me know what you'd like me to do for the next one. I'm not going to do the extreme because that takes more rank that I don't have. And I'll just do those later after I start way back on monkey lane and do medium. Why did I say advanced? It's medium. Uh, and on reverse. Alright. Um, so that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.